FXI is, of course, the China shares. It's their biggest, most liquid ETF, I believe. Then there's the KWEB, K-W-E-B. There are several others, but those are the two big ones. And we had unusual activity like crazy in FXI. We had, and there you see it on the screen, folks. Um, and in KWEB, uh, they were buying calls like crazy. And this is because of what we talked about at the top. Well, China PMI and all the rest have indicated that China's really struggling. So now we have a lot of bets that are paying off big time. Now, did it reverse today? The answer is yes, but it's only down 28 cents. It's a $32 <laughs> index. Basically, it traded down now 28 cents, just breaking 32. But that's still, Pete, over a five-day run. If you just back out just a little bit, you see this thing, it was you know, 28 bucks, then it ran to 30, then it went to 31 and 32. And it's still hovering right around that 32 level, Pete. Yeah, I'll give you one other one, John, that you didn't mention just because we did have unusual option activity in there and I did participate in it. But Asher, uh, this yep. is value, large uh, value stocks. Um, it's it's a monster. We, we don't always look at that one, but we seem to see a lot much more in the other ETFs that are out there, although this one does as well, by the way. The options they were buying, John, were the October, the 28 calls, regular expiration, the 28 calls. They went for about 40 cents, 43 cents. Today, they hit 160. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of how much this thing is up 5% on the day. So very much like our IWM or something like that, people could say, well, where do you want to get value? Well, that's, this is where you do it there, ASHR. It just shows you the huge gains that they have gotten, John, because of what the government's doing over there in China right now. Something definitely worth keeping an eye on. And to your point, it hasn't really backed off all that much today from where we've started to move last week. So pretty strong move, maybe still still in the works. We'll see if that happens. But I always say, just like you do, John, you better be disciplined. If you get a nice gain like that on some trades, uh, you might want to trim a little bit. <laughs>